Hello fellow beings of Middle-earth and welcome back to the Isengard campaign. Today we're facing 6,500 orcs and it's mainly the armies from Dol Guldur and Gundabad. I know last episode that I said I wanted to play this battle down here but it was not very notorious and I just decided to skip it and just postpone the recording. So I have decided to just go straight for this battle instead which happened a turn later. They're bringing trash and these guys have some castlands which is very cool but they don't really have a lot in their number so the two armies is basically trash Gastrat he does bring some pale orcs and of course his bodyguard is mountain guard so that's going to be a nice matchup and he also got some black shield archers and some black shield warriors which is also a strong unit and King Hasog himself has come and he brings with him black shield archers. And let's see what other he got. He got the pale uruks. A full unit. And these guys are definitely a strong unit. Very very well. And they also have a full unit of bulk champions. Also a very strong unit. In addition they have black shield warband. And two units of black shield archers. So this is actually quite. This is going to be a challenge. And it's going to be very interesting to see how this battle will turn out. It could potentially be a little bit laggy just because of the Medieval 2 engine. But we'll see what we can do about it. I will see you on the battlefield. Alright, we are here. Now, on these towers, I placed the Urkai Archers and Saruman himself. I'm thinking they're going to rack up kills. And the plan will be to just try to just completely surround them at the gate. Oh, jeez, this is going to be bad. Let's try to just hit them with one of our units just to occupy them. And we're going to try to let these guys escape. Rook Slayers. Oh, cool. That's just to occupy them for a little bit and just try to bring them out. Uh, my plan here is to try to hit the Black Shield Archers. I don't think we're going to get much done here. Let's just try to bring them up here and perhaps get them out of range for now. Like, there's not much we can do with these guys anyways. It's just to kind of weaken them a little bit. Or perhaps it would probably just be wise to go for uh, units which have a lot of numbers in them. Just simply because they're going to be able to completely surround us. Now let's see what we can do. Doggle door host. Alright, that's a nice target. Now you guys are going to bring down some goblins here. And we are going to start using Saruman and such when they really start sending into unit, in some units. At least this guy which talks is not very opportunistic about it. our chances. Let's send these guys over here. I put out some stakes with the Orthanc Guard. And I have completely put pikes on all fronts. That's really going to do some damage. Now, let's not hit these guys. And you guys are going to hit some Black Shield Arches. Or charging straight into arrows like that is just not a very good idea. Let's perhaps try to send them against these guys instead. Actually, they're almost here. They might actually get a nice charge, it looks like. Yeah, it was a nice charge, but there are just too many arches over there. Now, get some chew in the orc raiders. Alright, these works are probably going to get completely... Caught off by these um, stakes right here. Yeah, they are. Just look at this. That's a very nice place. I'm glad they removed stakes from most units because before they they did have a lot of uh, like almost all units could deploy stakes and they were just able to assassinate a lot of units just purely with stakes and it was just really stupid. All right, let's get these guys around. Could try to hit the Uruk bodyguard as well. Actually, I don't think we're going to get a lot of hits in here. But let's take a look at the castlands now as we see them. These guys are monsters. They are the bodyguard for Juan Morath of Deer, at least, uh, in Dol Guldor. And they have 27 total defense. Very, very good. And 11 attack, which is also very solid. But they are very susceptible to armor-piercing units. 
Alright, these guys should try to hit. Let's just give these guys. Actually, the Goblin Stalkers. No, the Goblin Stalkers are very good against cavalry. So let's just hit these guys instead. And I suppose these guys could potentially hit these guys in the back. Now, I don't want to start firing with Salomon before the Gundavad army comes in. Because. The oh, wow. Look at all these guys who are sort of bad states. That's a cool bug. But we're really racking up kills with these guys. But when, once these guys come in, we're definitely going to use Saruman because they have a lot of strong units that we want to make sure we are prepared for. I thought they were supposed to charge. Now, these guys though, we could probably just send the, all of our Javis in as quickly as possible just to have them readily available as a unit. So we're going to start hitting the Orc Mollers. Uh, these guys are over here. And just look at this, they're streaming in like ads. At this point we might want to start reinforcing this side. Because they're going to be able to just purely use your mass. And just... Let's try to put these guys properly up. They're really going to play on their mass in this battle, I think. Let's hit the mark with goblins. There's a little bit limited what we can do with this cavalry. But now the mountain guard are starting to come in. As well as the pale orcs. Look at these beasts. 24 total defense, 14 attack and 10 charge bonus. They're monsters. And we're going to have to deal with them with proper Saruman uh, crossbows, bolts. Yeah, you see they're just starting to use mass as a weapon here. So we want to make sure we have these guys placed up properly. A shield wall now would probably be quite useful just to hold. So the Orthan guard, but they're, they're in a very nice position nonetheless actually. And we do have some more pikes as well. Let's just put these guys in behind for now. And our last work is charging in. Or they're just actually wasting arrows on him. Now, Saruman should start firing now at this point. Alright, let's see some action. And we're starting to feel the lag over here. The Bogs champion is a very nice and the Let's just try to find them in all this mess. Just look at this. It's going to be such a nice battle. Now we do want to find... I'm going to pause it just because it's so... Very, it's very hard to even find the units right here. Uh, so we want to find the Bulk's champions. And we want to hit them with, with the crossbows. But the Black Shield Warband I suppose is also a nice target. And they're probably just bunch up together all. And the Paleryx. Let's just hit these guys. And you can just fire. Yeah, there's the bulk champions actually. Yeah, it will hit nonetheless, to be honest. Alright, these guys just used up. Oh, this is going to be such a terrifying. Some terrifying bolts. I'm wondering how many kills we can get with Saruman. I think this is going to be a quite even battle, to be honest. Let's send these guys in as well. You don't want to send in all your units at once, because then they're going to become tired. But we just need these troops here, because they're just supplying so much pressure. Actually these guys can stand right here, and these guys can stand like right here for the time being. The half orc Bengard is arm piercing specialist, but it's kind of hard to really target any units, and we see the lag is starting to become pretty immense. It's quite even, we have taken out a little bit more of them than they have of those of us. And it looks like they're trying to rally, they're just running straight through our unit at this point. We still have the Legio 1 Isengard in this army, which is kind of cool. These pikemen are just going to rack up kills, there's no doubt about it. But this turned into a lag fest already, which is quite disappointing. And it's not my PC, it has a lot of good stats. It's simply just because it is the Medieval 2 in engine. 
and it's just not prepared for this. And you just see they're just starting to push out. The good thing about this is that we can't really miss with our arrows. The bad thing is that they're probably going to try to push straight for the town center. I think sending in these guys now is not a bad idea. And these pikes will be engaged soon. Which is uh, alright. Now, I think we want to leave. Actually, the side over here is quite solid. Over here, though, yeah, same. Probably want to send these guys in over here as well. Just to really back it up. And I think we want to send these guys behind here. The important thing here is just to surround the enemy completely and let the arrows do their work. We should definitely have had some more missiles that would have been very uh, useful. Now the pale Uruks, they're starting to get into here. They have a very high attack mass. And the good thing is that we have a lot of armor on most of our units. So we're not going to be... We're not going to suffer too much from their high attack. Now I suppose just getting some scum out of this is just just get rid of some yeah some sh trash is good as well so i'm going to send use my archers to just target whatever is in here and i'm going to use Saruman on the elites because the elite is going to start punching uh yeah you see they're sending all their elites this way i wonder if uh, let's just check if Saruman's missile is going through this three or not this is a Quite a nice uh, view. Wow, yeah, it's just going straight through. That's very nice. Alright, but they're definitely starting to push now. And he's not too opportunistic. And it's dead even. I'm going to save Salman's ability for a time of need. We're getting very nice shots into here, though. I think these guys are much more needed up here, to be honest. Where they're really starting to push out. And we also want to make sure we don't lose the town center. Which could very easily happen. Because they're just pushing all the units through. And the good thing about they, them pushing their units through. Is that we can just get free hits on them. The bad thing is that they could very much destroy our lines. Which would be devastating. Just look at this force. 6,500 orcs. And we're not even... They haven't even sent in all their units. <laughs> they have some Haradri marches over here. And they have a Ballista. Just imagine what this Ballista could do to... To their own men if they started sending Javis in here. I mean, the shots. Alright, but it looks like we have a pretty solid formation here at this point. These guys are getting engaged now. I probably want them to have more of like this shape so I'm just going to run them very quickly and they're definitely just trying to go straight through right here I think we're going to use the ability right now and try to slow them down and we're going to let these guys set up properly and we're just going to let these guys send in their missiles uh, just look at that it's going to be so interesting to see how many kills they get and I'm so mad we didn't bring another or two crossbow units but we are starting to see oh these guys are facing the wrong way at this point. We're going to take them out of guard and I'm actually going to send them straight into here. But I'm going to skip a little bit because this is a lag fest and it's just a choky battle right now. Just, just bringing down units as many as we can. So I'll see you after a little while. We're actually seeing some ballista action from all the way back here. They're just sending some ballistas straight into my arches. And the position at this point, they're stretched really far. And this side over here is really weak. We lost a lot of forces here. But they have mo lost most of their elites as well. I think some of their both champions, the yeah, there's like 11 left. And I just sent Saruman there to deal with them. Even though these guys are armor piercing and a very excellent halberd unit uh, they like we are also armor piercing and they were kind of surrounded so I just went for it 
Now I'm just trying to bring down the mountain guard at this point. These guys actually have <laughs> gained a lot of chevrons. That's quite surprising. These pikemen on these sides are just holding so well. They have barely lost anyone. Because most of the trash is down here. But this is definitely the Liga 1 from Isengard. Soon have max experience. I hope they will survive the battle. Because it looks like we're going to win. We just need some of their some of their generals to start falling apart at this point. Salman is still safe. Oh! Ashka to the merciless. That's going to cause some routing. If they have any troops to rout at all. And there another general go down. From Saruman himself. Uh, it looks like another Dolgodor general. It was Gorbag. Yeah, they're going to start getting some casualties now. Definitely. Pikeman here doing nicely. Uh, Paleorix. They're dropping heavily. This is excellent. Such a nice battle. Even though it's a choky battle. Just imagine what a catapult could have done in this situation. Probably it doesn't really have a very nice angle. But it could have been a very interesting set. I'm just very mad that we didn't have any more archers. We could probably speed up a little bit at this point. Yeah, it's still a little bit, little bit laggy. There are only two mountain guard left now. We actually need to take out the, these two cast, cast lands as well, so that we don't lose the town center. That would have been a very stupid way to lose this battle. Now Saruman with the ring is fighting himself. He doesn't get any new bodyguard or so. It would have been quite cool if he got Nazca as well. But I suppose his unit now is even better than Nazca to be completely honest. They're just so strong. Uh, these Pelerics are dropping them down. Uh, we're now starting to surround them down here. We have taken a large amount of casualties though. Even the pikemen have been falling apart. But we and the Liga one is still alive. Now I'm the yeah the Paleriks are going down now. They're they're dead. Let's send Saruman down here, and we'll have to deal with the ballista as well, which is quite cool or stupid. Now I have been thinking about quitting this campaign in not too long. I'm not really having the same motivation as I have been, had before. Just because it's just so large now. And at this point, there's not that much challenge we're going to meet. We're going to be able to face off everything. This was the grand test. If we can beat 6,500 orcs, we can do whatever we want in this campaign. And it looks like that's the situation we are in, in at this time being. Now, except for these guys, we're just going to attack everyone right here and just let them be very aggressive. Liga 1 Isengard have max experience now. They are a legend at this point. We're just going to have these guys here just in case some weird unit gets over there. <laughs> and the King of Gundabad is about to fall. Oh, these guys are actually in. I don't want these guys to fall. Right, let's just send everyone else in. And this guy as well, I want him to survive. Let's just get them in. This is going to get some... And there... Wow, he actually took a guy with him. That was... Gasrat. Another general is down. Now they're soon to be completely dead. It's only their king... That's why they're still fighting, the king is still alive. Let's try to find the black shield. It's the black shield. Archers, and it looks like he goes. That's King Masog, I believe. And he's King Azolg, it was. He's dead. At this point, they're struggling very hard. Yeah, most of their units are just ratting at this point. Now, where's the black shield archers? Some of them are ratting.
We need to send someone over to deal with the ballista as well. All our units are completely depleted though. This was a very costly battle. And we have like no units to defend this place at this time of being. The bodyguard has all his bodyguards on the ones standing. Alright, they are gone. And the League of One survived with two men. That it couldn't have been more legendary to be honest. Now this these guys over here are the only one left. If they don't get any troops. Yeah, they have some black shit archers over here. I'm gonna send Saruman down there. As well as these guys. These guys are going to send around and deal with the ballista. And just look at all our pikemen. They like they survived so well. All the units survived. And one of them had 87 in their unit still. That just should say something about the strength of these pikes. Or thank god to get heavy heavy hit. Nah, I think these guys just gotta run. The ballista will not be a problem. And I don't think they have a lot of forces left. Except for that one. Ah, the god of the hand will deal with these black shield archers. Let's just check at their stats. I don't remember if I already did. They have six miss attack, which is very good for an orc uh, arch unit, and they have fifteen total defense as well, and twelve melee attack. So they're very good in melee. They can be used both in melee and as a missile unit. That's a reason itself for why I would want to play as good in the bad. Like they have so many unique units. Now let's just speed this up. Who is firing at us? I can't really see them. Oh, it's probably just... Oh, there's some scouts over there. You guys deal with them. And you alone, it will probably be sufficient enough to take down this ballista. They might get some more hits on us. Oh, wow! There was still a general at the town center. Of course, Muzu. They actually got some hits right here. Let's just put them in this small mode and it will be a little bit easier to avoid the hits they're going to get. Should have had some more cavalry. Yeah, you guys take down the pikes and just bring them down. Saruman just... Yeah, just go after them. Yeah, the ballista crew is, is going to shit themselves at this point. League of One Isengard will return to Isengard and just recruit everything again. And they're going to be in a super strong army. Alright, there we go. Heroic victory. 6,121 orcs kill. Wow, that's insane. 1,506 kills. I oh, know, I uh, lost, I mean. Wow. King Assault took a real hit. God of Dan almost 800 kills. And the Urukai Archers almost 500 kills. <laughs> Urukai Pikemen 628 kills. Just look at all of these troops. Getting so much kills. The Warg Marauders doing the worst for once. Like that's the first time they ever do worst. Now the invasion has, fought, uh, has failed. I mean. And we are going to... I have to reinforce this city because it's like completely all the units are dead at this point but we'll be able to recruit from Western Moria and in the city itself but I'm tempted to send Saruman back to Isengard now I don't know if I want to leave him at this uh, side I'm wondering if the Gundabad is even going to die because their king died they might have some other faction members but I'm not sure. Ah, oh, they're sending more units over here. I did uh, lose a thousand Skakhatrog because I had no units inside. Now, let's see what will happen right here. The Lord of Gundabad is dead. For Salman. No, they didn't go extinct. Alright, and we lost a Drykhan because... They rebelled. Wow. Five units of Elbert Sentinels? That's the weirdest spawn army I've ever seen. 
Now we'll have to bring them down again. And Luzu. Supposed to... And they actually uh, got another Doomstack army somehow. I do not know why. Now where is our Legio? Oh no, the unit perished because they're just too few? That's so weird. But these guys survived. Oh, they were too few to actually survive. That sucks. So we lost Legio 1. But in our hearts we know they actually survived. Now, I if he just has to attack Taurus, we no are we have completely lost it. I'm going to send Saruman over here. Now, Legio 4. Yeah, it's not really any notable units here. I'm just going to merge these pikemen. Ah, uh, for Vanguard. I'm just going to abandon some of these units. And we'll definitely just have to send out Saruman. And we'll have to reinforce it with units from this army. Let's bring in some archers as well. Alright, now it's quite healthy again. Can bring down these guys as well. Even though they were heroes. Ligue 2 Asnar, that's a nice unit. Ah, oh, I got a new battle map model right here. That's really cool. Looks very nice. God of the hand. Let's just get him to Casa Doom. <laughs> Sorry about my nose. It's, I'm a bit sick. But I wanted to get an episode out. So over here I took out. Whatever it was called before. Thalband. And I'm now pushing, pushing straight for Seragost. It's a very wealthy region. We have a lot of troops here. And I have sent Dwar of Wow over here. And we are going to attack Varfest. We're just going to rush Rune in a, in a hurry and just bring down a lot of their units very quickly. And Nagler is going to build another tower here. And Mordor do hold some region up here, which I want to get rid of. I did send some more units as well. And we have some troops here as well. Also getting more units. The Nazgai is finally finished. That's wonderful. We still haven't gotten an archer range here. Let's just build a very strong army. I want to build a super army. Let's see these guys. Could probably move them over here. Yeah. We're going to have a super stack. We took out Balorn and they have sent another army down here. Which I will have to deal with. Over here. Oh, they still have a lot of units from the last stack army. Now, I think I'm going to send most of our units into... Into Trang Uzg. Let's hope they don't attack this guy. I think they're going to go for Osthor. Just have a couple of units inside. Let's recruit everything we can at this, at this point. Here as well. Let's send these archers down here. I really want to get another Nazgul, but I actually believe it's like 10 turns. They also started attacking over here, but I was able to send a couple of pikemen and the infantry, so we might be able to pull them off, or hold them off. And I also spent a lot of money off camera, just because we could. Can't recruit units yet, but it's just going to be one more turn. And we're also building the barracks at this point. So we'll be able to start recruiting units from here as well. Now, I'm not really that concerned about this side. It's more fun seeing what will happen on this side with this strong army. But we do want to send another army after him. Uh, Nightloom could probably lead that army, to be honest. Or at least we just want some reinforcements. To be able to we have be inside a cities and such. Get ready for fighting. Get ready for 
And we also do want some archers in that army, which I completely forgot about. So I did uh, recruit a lot of archers. Come on! We have completed an objective. No sleeping here. Yeah, we can just send some of the extra units over there. Two turns that we can get in that guy. I don't think we need his ballista at this point. Music is very beautiful. We got the first Nazgul in the 102nd turn, so we'll have to wait for like, I believe, 10 more turns. Alright, I'm going to fight this battle off camera. They were slotted. The Warg Marauders, no, the other Warg Marauder unit did very well. I believe it was anyways, couldn't notice it. But we're just going to start pushing hard on Emelwath. And it's nice, now we have connected with Thadagrondost. So we're now no longer completely surrounded at this front. Which was really annoying a period of time. And it still has... That we lost the battle against Olamath really hit us. Now these guys are going to need more units. Get ready for Pick your feet up. Move. All right, there we go. And let's just send these guys over here. And I'm actually tempted to send this army with the new, with Huar Murath actually. That's going to be such a lovely army. Let's see what we got. I'm going to save all the Berserkers because we're going to make a Berserker army only. With only Berserkers and a Nazkai to lead them. That's going to be such a nice army. Alright, let's just bring out all of the pikes. There we go. And now just push in with infantry. And we're just going to reinforce Huar Murath with that army. And let's start stacking up Berserkers in this... In these forts. I guess we could uh, recruit another general just to put him in some place. Can recruit more Berserkers here. Alright, we don't actually have any more money. I've spent them all. Now I think we can end the turn and we're probably going to see some battles. No sleeping here. Get ready for fighting. Come on. Uh, but he's probably going to, to attack us. You. That was stupid. Should actually fighting. just abandon this. No here. Let's hope Salmon doesn't get attacked by some weirdos. No Let's just bring here. some cavalry with him just in case. And I completely forgot to move those that guys, but let's see what Gunner does. I just really want to get rid of Gunner and all Amroth as well. We can't really end this campaign before that has happened. But this uh, campaign is not as interesting anymore, just simply because we have such a large mass of land. It's not really a big deal anymore. Are they attacking Usk Thor? No. No surprise there. We have the reinforcements that we need. And we'll ha have to fight them off. Defend the camp. And they're sending another army, so we'll have to be quick about it. They're now focusing most of their attention on us because they've lost a lot of other settlements. But they're going to be squeezed from Harad and from us from two sides. Alright. <laughs> Was thought besieged. Kingdom of Gondor and Mordor have declared truce the same with clans of Enlath and Lindon. None of those were really positive for us. Or 
Alright, we do have the army to attack these guys. So I'm just going to stack up the units we need. Alright, I'll do that a little bit later. They're starting to send some real elites here though. So we need more we need more guys here. We can recruit some good units here now, so it's not a big deal. And these these places can also recruit now. So we're able to push out a lot of more units. I'm just going to send him over here and I'm going to let this army get over here in time. Looks like it's actually faster to go through Dunland's land. But they're going to be mad at this point. And it's 13 more turns until we can recruit another Nazca unit. Alright, here we are going to see some action now, finally. This is going to be quite uh, interesting. Ah, they do have a nice army here, though. And the win holds this land. Alright, that's quite nice, actually. Alright, so if we attack Avsar, yeah, he will be utterly crushed by this army. Three units of trolls, Dwar of Wav, thousands of berserkers, pikemen, and Urkai infantry. No archers, though. And to be honest, we could just let the units stream out. One more turn at the booking at Nazkai from this place. We're going to build another elite army here, I think. Ah, we gotta deal with this army. Jeez, that's such a boring battle to play. Uh, I'm going to wait a little bit with it. And they're besieging us out here, I don't really care. I'm just going to let them besiege us for as long as possible. And that's the thing when you reach a certain time in the campaign when it's just not that interesting to attack people anymore. They didn't know it's starting to become less interesting. Alright, let's send some more infantry. There we go. And he is indeed coming. If we stand on the bridge, we could take the least amount of cash as this possible. Salman did survive. And the Dunedain are here now. Let's move Aglak over to Kasadum West. And let's have Saruman in Kasadum East. Yeah, still going to take a while to get to units here, but we can recruit from here. Still a little while over here. Now, okay, let's make a new plan. I want to take down Castle Doom, though. Let's just use these guys as scouting unit. Balin is actually here. Get ready for fighting. But abandoning this army would be a little bit risky. Actually, I'm going to use Aglock here. We're fine without the general. We have the troops we need. And we can just send Saruman there for the meantime. And as soon as we get more units up here, we'll be fine. Another catapult will probably be useful. Alright, I think we're going to see some action with Ruin here. I will have to not play a battle here, but I will have to bring down Almuras of camera and I'll have to bring down Gorthrak of camera as well but we're firstly going to attack Rune that's going to be interesting let's see who they are allied with first Varags of Khan and Mordor yeah the Varags of Khan is probably going to be mad about that but that doesn't really matter they have a lot of enemies and maybe yeah it doesn't really matter. Let's just um, attack outside. Wow, and it didn't work out. 
That's stupid. Alright, this will work though. Oh, they actually have the Dragon Wrath guilds, man. I thought this was just trash armies, but it's nice to see some real units here. These guys, yeah. Alright, this is going to be nice. I'm going to. I'm really reminded of the Gondorian campaign now as we're fighting Rune again. But I'm just going to let these guys come in as reinforcements. And we are. Like, we could just do this. No, it won't work anyways. Alright, so I'm just going to bring down these guys. And I'm going to show you the battle. So I'll see you in the battlefield. Alright, we're here. So I knew the enemy was coming up from south or north or whatever. At least you can see it on the battle map. So I just decided to place all my pikes here and just say hello. And they even have cavalry, which will actually come in from this side. So we're going to see some nice action here. Uh, we're going to throw some Natha bombs into these guys. Let's just let them halt and just let us throw some lovely Natha bombs straight into them. Oh, that's wonderful. Now the fire culture of Rune or the dragon culture is getting their own medicine. Some real fire from our own dragons, I would say. I'll give these. We should definitely get these guys engaged with this unit though, because these guys are going to be slaughtering them utterly. Now the cavalry is going to go straight into our our bait. Do they have anything else? Yeah, they actually have another unit here. So let's just completely attack them as well. Now let's take a look at their stats. These guys got charged, so I suppose we're just sending these boys over here. Now, first of all, the Dragon Wrath Skillsman. 33 total defense and six and 13 attack. That's very well. They have 16 armor as well. But they're like not up with... They are an elite unit, but compared to other factions elites, they're not that amazing, to be completely honest with you. Now, where is their bodyguard? He is actually right here. Let's see. They have 14 attack, 5 charge bonus, and 24 defense. That's a very good unit. And they're also affecting against armor. So that's just making them a very powerful bodyguard unit. Now, let's see a charge from the Nazkai. They start with 101. Let's see how many they will bring down. Should inflict a lot of damage to be completely honest. Yeah, they lost like seven men. That's amazing. You guys just hit. You guys can just go over here to be completely honest. Now, over here, we do want to storm this very quickly because the thing with this settlement is that these. Arrow towers are so overpowered in this patch, like they're ridiculously OP. So we just want to put our wargs like right here and just rush in and just stop them from sending units over here because it's just going to slaughter us utterly. So these guys as well, just pull them all the way up here. You can stay a little bit behind. I've been doing some testing in another campaign, which I'm not. It's not a let's play. It's just a campaign I'm playing off camera. Uh, these guys are actually getting teared apart. Why is that? Oh, uh, they're probably fighting the Locker in Bodyguard, which is not the best matchup for the trolls. That was stupid on my part. Uh, you guys just hit over here. These Dragon Rats skillsmen are starting to drop. Locker in Bodyguard as well, but they're definitely some nice units. So we'll hold it for a while. There, the last one went down. The, like, we should have sent Berserkers into these guys instead. But we do have the Nazkai, of course. But these trolls were completely thrown away. What is, uh, what is it with these guys? I don't know. Must have been completely surrounded or something. Alright, uh, they do have some units. Oh, they just went through. Alright. Let's hopefully see 
it looks like they might be selling some units over now. So we just really want to stop them as quickly as possible. Now you guys want to start running. We just want these guys to rush in and just stop all their units from... Yeah, they're already sending units and they're going to start doing some heavy damage on us. Now we just want these guys to run in as quickly as we can. There's only one more hit needed. We got to run these guys in as well. And there we go. Beautiful. Don't even care if we lose a, a couple of works there. We just need to get in as soon as we can. Because these guys are going to start doing some major damage on us. Uh, when they when they start climbing up the walls. Just get these guys in as fast as possible. You guys could probably go for these guys instead. And you guys are going to go up there. There the general goes. You guys go up here. We don't want these guys to start climbing the walls. Then they're going to get so much damage from these arrow towers. It's not even funny. Now the works are going to be able to occupy them. Which is just what we wanted. Oh no. The arrow towers are activated. But it's over there though. But that's really bad. I, I actually think these guys are effective against armor. Yeah, so they're just going to be a very bad matchup for these guys. That's not good at all. Now, is there any more arrow towers? Or is the arrow towers over here, which is actually hitting? That could very much be the case, to be honest. Now, these guys could probably flank around. The trolls... They could probably help over here. These guys are just running. Uh, we do want to send some of these guys over here now. We could probably have attacked with a little bit more units together. Alright, let's just bring on them. And let's send in Dwar. We're just going to send them back to the town center. And then there will be no issues at all. Oh, they do have other arrow towers over here as well. Now let's get the trolls over here and just hit these guys in the back. Oh, they're actually completely left. Oh, or completely gone at this point. Like, even though these guys are armor piercing, using the trolls in the rear should be fine. It's just capture the city at this point. These guys are also armor piercing, so let's just wait for these guys to arrive, to be honest. Alright, let's just charge them. They should still do fine, even though they're armor piercing. It's not a nice matchup for us, but we'll still get kills. Alright, these guys are done. These guys are getting hit by the arrow towers. Let's try to just... Screen them a little bit. Same will happen with the wise. Only half the enemy force remains. Like the units we're facing here is like effective against all of these guys, but when they're surrounded like this, it doesn't matter. Ways, okay. You're definitely going to be needed over here. You're going to face the general. We're going to use the trolls in the back. I just get these guys out of here. All right, let's get them there and there. These arrow towers are scary. And like the ballistic towers, which they have around the gate, is even like they're so horrible. You don't want to face those tower towers at all. Just look at this. The trolls are like getting shoot off. Wow. Let's try to hide these guys. Or just send them out to be honest. Where is the Nazkai? 
these arrow towers are just so deadly. Let's just get this battle over with. It's because of this lone rider, of course. I couldn't really understand why that happened, to be honest. Alright, like, let's just finish this battle off once and for all. Now school is not even blooded up, so it's going to be nice. Just look at how the Berserkers will perform against such a unit. They're going to tear their armor apart. Dwar is in the midst of the battle though. Let's send in the trolls as well. They're already engaged. But the arrow towers is doing some nice damage to us. That's not good. Like, just look at this. The trolls is dropping so quickly. These guys are armor piercing, but still the towers is doing some damage. Our men have taken control of the castle. This is so stupid. Like, these towers are just way too overpowered in my opinion. Gotta run these guys all the, right way, all the way around and just not let them get targeted. I'm gonna just bring them down now. There we go, finally. But we took way too much damage from those towers. 313 lost. That's not really bad, but... Trolls did some nice work. Got some trolls healed. That just shows the potency of arrow towers in this patch. And ballista towers, they're a nightmare. You don't want to face that at all. And then you need a very, very strong army. But I guess for... It makes it a lot more interesting to play siege battles. Because it's way more difficult. And you want to think about it in a whole other way. Now I think I'm going to end the episode around here. I'll have to fight some battles off camera and such. There we go. Let's just exterminate. I'm going to exterminate because we don't have the same culture. Because these guys do indeed have the men of the East culture. Alright, let's get this built. And let's see what it, where the Ballista Towers comes from. Extra wall defenses. Alright, so this arm is just no going to keep on, here. to be honest. No sleeping here. Listen up. Let's just leave these guys. Uh, they're Get going to be mad me. at the moment. If we leave another unit. Come on. Still mad? No sleeping here. Objective four. They're still mad after all of these units. Wow, alright, let's leave. They're still mad. So stupid. We'll just have to wait for this general to approach. And we'll move on from that moment once again. Get ready for get ready for fighting. Oh what about this? No sleeping here. Yeah, alright, that's fine. And these archers are going to join this army. Definitely. Old Rune Road is now hold held by Isengard. Beautiful. No sleeping here. Alright, but that is going to be it for this episode. I'm going to fight this battle of camera as well as this battle. And we are going to be able to progress. We are building up a large stack here and and the wife will be destroyed by this stack, like there's no doubt about it. And Gondor will hold up a nice resistance, but we are getting so many units uh, here at this point that there's not like, they will not be able to hold us off in the long run, because we can just recruit from all of these places. Here we're just allied with Harad. Mordor holds one settlement here. But we're just going to let them keep it, so that we can get all the Nazgul. Up here we are going to start pushing with Saglun. 
Yeah, and we are of course pushing the Dwar here, and we'll keep pushing out units to just occupy. So I think we're doing very fine this campaign. Uh, so fine that I'm not tempted to continue it for a very long time. Uh, I want to probably bring down Gondor and perhaps the Lamroth. Mordor is not really that important to bring down because we do get the Nazgul anyways. And it's going to take a while. Lothlorien would be nice to bring down as well, but it's not that important for me. Get ready for fighting. Liberator of Dane's Holes? That's a very weird bug, to be honest. Hate Slamroth. Liberator of Dane's Holes? That's so weird. Let's just check what happened to Dane's Holes. I got a, bit, a little bit of... A little bit of curious now. Total foul. Ah, the Gundabad holds a lot. Uh, actually, we could do a toggle foe before we end this episode. We haven't done it in a long while. So we see that we hold a lot of the land, of course. Mother holds this... Stu yeah, they hold Seregost, as we knew. Harad. Variags of Khand. It's not anything very unusual, which happens here. And the wife doesn't hold a lot uh, anymore, though. The Breeland has been quite successful in this regard. Imladris holds this one. It will be an yeah. honor the same you. usual situation. There's still a invasion army up here actually. Overlord Agendar which just can't pass through. Then your lives. And the Welsmen are fighting. Yeah. And the Orcs are holding the sit this place. Now I'm not going to look more. But this looks like Legolas, so it's Haldir. Let us settle matters on the field of... Alright. But that's it. Uh, I am thinking about perhaps doing either Dwarves of Erebor or Dal Amroth after this one. I'm very tempted to do Dwarves of Erebor. Leave, leave me some feedback. Uh, I'm going to start with two new campaigns, but I'm going to play both Isengard and Remnants of Angmar a little bit longer. And then we're going to swap them out. Because we have been very successful and it's limited what we really want to do at this point. So do give me your thoughts. But I am quite certain I will do either Doors of Erebor or the Lamroth in one of the campaigns. And I'm going to decide one campaign for my own. And then I'm going to do a faction vote for the other one. So that you guys decide one campaign and that I decide one campaign myself. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys for the next episode.